very much but anyways the whole <laughs> absence makes the heart grow fonder thing I, is totally legit and, and that's just like with with anything in life i mean when you like i didn't have alcohol for like what was it like 30 40 days or something like that and i was like give me a fucking cocktail or give me death by the end of it and i enjoyed it and i drank my martini so much slower than i normally would and and so that same, I, I understand that it, out, outside of the sex part, but I also get it with sex. Like I've dated people where I haven't been able to see them for a while. Like my ex-husband and I, uh, we we moved a lot um, in our marriage, like way too many times than any normal person should move in like an eight year span of time. And uh, but we would move out of states like we moved to Austin, Texas, and we moved to Park City, Utah, and then we moved back to California and blah, 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 blah. And throughout that, he would go ahead of me for like two months and then I would show up with the dogs and and the truck and everything all packed. Well, no, he would come and move with me. He would like make me drive the truck. No, but like everything be ready to go. Then he'd fly back and I hadn't seen him in a while. And I remember there was a trip that he was supposed to make to come back to California just to come and visit me. And he wasn't going to be able to make it. And it broke our hearts. We were just like dying. So that that absence, that waiting, I understand the principle behind it. Um, and I appreciate and respect it from a sex perspective. I just don't think... From your side about talking about chronic masturbation, where you're four or five days, yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. Like, that is, like, mind-boggling, over-the-top, retarded. But with you, and I don't like that word, so I apologize. It's not what I mean by it. Uh, It's really dumb. But when it comes to, like, okay, you know, it's been a tough day, man. And I, I just, this is what I need if you were able to do it four to five times a day, why would you not be able to masturbate just to release whatever that like anger or that frustration was and then still make love to your wife? I don't, I, because I found it very much. Oh, you're like, oh, I already blew my load. Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah. And my energy level just went down. And, you know, why? What am I going to what, what is my fantasy going to be? What am I going to be thinking while masturbating? Am I going to be thinking about her? Why can't I just wait until to actually wait for the real thing? What am I going to masturbate to? A, you know, a porn model. So, like, so, you know? so, yeah, and I and I don't know if this is, and I'm speaking for myself from a masturbation perspective because I have never been interested in porn, like ever. It never. I've watched maybe five little tiny snippets of porn in my entire life, um, mostly because I'm my own porn star, and Good for I you. thank you. Mm-hmm. I have had a nice, regular, decent amount of sex in my life. This is actually probably the driest spell I've ever had. And um, pun but, intended. Mm-hmm. Pun intended. No, not when you're in my bedroom with my toys. <laughs> There's nothing dry going on up in there, honey. Jeez. Please. <laughs> Jeez, please. We're rhyming. Um, we're rhyming over here. Um, but for me, mine. You know, like I can masturbate like once a week every other week and I'm golden like I'm not I don't crave it I don't really want it all that much because I don't have there's no intimacy with it there's no I can you know there's no like making eye connection with each other not there's there's nothing really unless intimate put, about it let's put googly eyes on your toy oh wow ew <laughs> creepy now you're gonna have googly eyes all oh, over gosh. your desk <laughs> On my vibrator, but just see, sitting right there. And that's where I guess I get, I'm get i conflicted with masturbation because I hear the scientific benefits from a guy's perspective. And Again, ambivalent. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's not good. And from the women's, it's like, but there's all these great side effects. There's all this greatness. And it's like, oh, you know, which is obviously it has to, has to play into some reason why, you know, women, you know, can only orgasm in a certain way, a certain time has to be right. Am I right or am I wrong on that? Correct me if I'm wrong, please. I don't please. know, honey. I haven't had that problem. Oh, see? And, you know. It, it can be sunny, rainy, hot, cold. I can be drunk, The moon is shaped sober. Per- <laughs> I can have a dog kissing, licking my, like, knee at the same time. Nothing's distracting me from getting to the end game. <laughs> I was listening to an audio book, uh, Game Changers. Shameless plug, shameless plug time. Game but cha- I also do come like a banshee, like the neighbors call the cops, kind of screaming. Like, I have really powerful orgasms. So for me to have them more than, like, every couple days is is difficult only because they they actually wipe me out to a certain extent, like physically, but mentally they charge me up, if that makes sense. It's good to know. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, John is looking at me like I wow. am an alien right now. <laughs> wow. 
like a banshee. Mm-hmm. Like a banshee. <laughs> As I was saying just real quick, um, I, I, I finished reading an audiobook maybe a month ago, Game Changers by David Asprey. And there's a section where he talked about, you know, men and having sex with his wife and being intimate. And what's funny is that he would only orgasm every four days. But still have sex? But still have sex. Okay. And that he would prolong orgasm because of the what we kind of talked about, the whole gratification part. Mm-hmm. I guess when it comes down to masturbation for, again, for me, it has just been the gratification. I don't know. I can't. I, I mean, morally speaking for me, my viewpoint is construed because I'm Catholic and because I'm Christian and because it's me saying it just goes against laws of nature, which I tend to agree with. Uh, it's just to me, it's not natural. It's like you're forcing yourself you were not animals you know but again that's from a guy's perspective but then i hear the scientific part and for women science what science science is amazing and with science with (laughs) women pay attention to anything that has relationship to science no 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 no. i'm I'm listening to it you know and just to, to clear this up the catholic church actually does acknowledge scientific reason which is why i would challenge me like well what is it what about women if it benefits them what about women you know, same thing with marijuana. You know, the church doesn't really, they're kind of gray area with marijuana. It's like, well, it would have it benefits somebody. Well, then it's good. Well, what about masturbation? Well, hmm, ah, oh, man. Um, and, the, you know, so again, that whole thing is construed for me. These viewpoints for myself and my own life has yeah. just been, you know, but now when I hear you talk about, because you, I'm not saying you love it, but you have told me many times, you know, hey, you just masturbate. What about masturbation? What about this? What right, about that? Right. And, you know, and I've heard you out. And you enjoy yourself. <laughs> Thank you. I do. I'm quite fond of myself, it seems. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's not like I'm in there, like, for the whole afternoon. I literally can put that my, I can turn my, my girl, my take me to Jesus, baby. She literally, I can have an orgasm within two minutes. That's it. Wow. I don't need to be there. I don't need to turn on like freaking Barry Manilow and like light candles and do a whole thing. Yeah, I never understood, you know, like, you know, guys in movies light candles and get the lotion ready. I was never that guy I either. I like that though. I, oh. well, so, but not, no, 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 not necessarily from a romantic thing. I did it more as a sexy thing. Like, I see. I, it wasn't like, let's, let's go make love under the candlelight. No, it was more like, I've got music playing so loud nobody can hear Lindsay scream. I've got like, I've got harnesses to tie you up. I've got a blindfold and I'm going to tickle you with the feather and pour champagne on you and lick it off your body. And then there's just a couple candles burning around us. (laughs) That's a Lindsay kind of a night. I haven't had one of those in a very long time. But they were so fun and I want you back. So hit us up at. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Gosh. No, but like I'm saying, it's only like two minutes for me to come, like and hard, not not even just like a baby come. That's interesting because you hear guys, you know, work. I don't have to look at a magazine. Yeah. I don't have to do anything. I go in there. I say, hey, turn it on, shove it up, and let's go for it. But I'm also very type A, type A, and extremely efficient. <laughs> so, so you don't like your imagination. You don't really think. No. Nope. Wow. I mean, I, yes, I think. Oh, okay. I'm, but I'm not like uh, I have a person that I think about here and there, or I have a person that I think about here and there, but uh, that will like pop into my mind. But I don't like intentionally lay down and go, okay, I gotta get in the mood and I gotta think about, uh, and you know, I, I I just don't have to. Not with this toy. I see. With people, yeah, you have to kind of like spend a little bit more time with them. Yeah, and. Hopefully, longer than two minutes. <laughs> and then we have bigger problems on our hands. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But I, I... So... So what are your thoughts, though, on... Oh, God. I'm so... I, I've got, like... I want to do, like, part two of this. Because I feel like I want to go into, like, toy-specific and marital aids and how you feel about that. Yeah, I think that's good. You know, because um, that's a whole other thing that we're actually... Kari and I are exploring. You know, right. That's why I gave you guys one. You yeah. guys just don't know how to use it. No, it's it's where's the on button type of thing. Type right. Of question, I'm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. How we, do I turn this on? How do you, I, oh, it's vibrating. 
Oh, 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 but wait. Oh, if I push this, it goes a little harder. Oh, and a little faster. Oh, and then this thing's moving. What do I, I do with that thing? <laughs> I remember when there was the curve. There's a curve on the toy. And I remember asking you, like, is that? For is the that? G-spot. And, and you were like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, we were using it the wrong way. Oh. Yes, we were using it the wrong way. <laughs> and I love you so much for being so vulnerable here with us today, John. <laughs> and every day. It's funny that I don't. I, I still, every day when I come in here, I don't have a good time at times talking about this. Not a good time meaning like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. But it's hard. It's hard talking about this because, again, my high school years weren't the best. I had a really shitty high school from what I remember, you know, high school memories. Yeah. You know, and to learn about sex through some random guy in my baseball team, like, hey, 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 Kirby, that was my nickname if you forgot already. Hey, Kirby, you should look at porn and, you know, masturbation if you heard about it. You know, and, you know, and that's how I learned about sex. It was pretty shitty. Yeah, that's shitty. You know, I, I don't like that at all. It was really shitty. Didn't have any, you know, girlfriends or none of that stuff to show me. Not that I wanted them to, but I'm just oh, saying, I, you know, loud. but I'm just, you know, Throwing it out there, you know, this is hard. This isn't easy, you know, for me anyway, talking about masturbation again with my shitty high school years. It's okay. Hey, I mean, if we bring out the PTSD in you, you know, that's what we're here for. Yeah. <laughs> chronic masturbator, John. That's right. Here he is. And the non chronic masturbator, Lindsay. Who would have guessed that the tables would have turned, her, folks? Seriously. I can't believe it only takes you two minutes. Two minutes, baby. And, and you're I, good to go. I will literally text you right before I do it next, oh, and I'll right. text you when I'm no, done. Please don't. <laughs> Dude, that's a Kari. I don't want to know that. Kari doesn't want to know that. I, exactly. <laughs> Who else am I going to text, John? I don't know. I don't have anybody I can text this to. I can just imagine Except you being for like. My, well, I've got two good friends of mine that are both two big whores, and they're wonderful people, and they love me to death. Oh, my God. I can just imagine you texting me. Hey, set a timer. All right? For what? Just set a timer. <laughs> just set it. Just set it. I'll tell you when to stop it. <laughs> Take next text this like two minutes later. This isn't an egg, Lindsay. All right, stop. All right, where, were you, where was I at? 152. Yes, new world record. New world record. So oh my I, gosh. I'm the world record for the shortest amount of time it takes me to come, and you are the world record for it. You know what? I'm so curious much here. masturbating you know what, this, you know what, in a four to five times a day. You know what? Now I'm <laughs> It takes me. No. How long does it take? I don't know. Does you know, it like it's been a hit while. the ceiling? It Where depends. does it go? If I didn't have, you know, now that, you know, back then, if I didn't do it for quite some time, um, it would take me, depends. You know, I'd prolong it. Yeah. You know, for the first initial one and then all the other three times was just like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh you know? wow! Okay. So um, I'm sorry. It's weird. I know. But, you know, I'm over, I'm trying to get over that. I, you know, I, I'm very happy that I have not, this is being honest, I have not masturbated since being married. Well, yeah, you said since January. Yeah, well, that's yeah, what, that's, that's what you right. said earlier right. today. I but I was I, mean, for a I can that's see right. what forty minutes does to a person. <laughs> <laughs> start losing their memory. You, you start losing your memory. But you best hit the bathroom and masturbate, buddy. <laughs> well, we want to hear from you. We uh, sure do. Um, you know, Lindsay just brought up an amazing point that she get it's you know off in two minutes. Uh, no, I'm not going to throw that out there. I was going to question, like, hey, send us how long it takes you. Oh, my God. Yeah, women. and then we'll do an average between women and men. Yes, and then we'll put no. you on the spectrum of, like, let's connect the dots Well, and see. don't make me do any form of math. Please. <laughs> God, don't ask us to do that. In all seriousness, no, we want to hear your stories, your outrageousness, your sex life stories. Just, I certainly want to hear about what whether you think masturbation is bad or good. Yeah, I that's, mean, that's, 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 that's what I want to hear, and I want to know why. Yeah. Because I'm really frustrated on this side of the studio for so many reasons and because I just do not agree with this at all. Again, I think it's all about balance. So... <laughs> Four to five times is a bit much, but you know, once every two weeks is probably it's probably a decent amount. That's it's funny, where I'm it's at. It's funny how it's like four to five in a day, and then now I'm at zero. Right? Isn't that crazy? If there was no middle ground, like, all right, John, that's what, what? I'm saying. Balance, yeah. babe. Balance. Yeah, I'm good. I'm oh good. Oh my gosh. I'm, well, I'm, if you want to send us your stories, or you have questions, or what have you, uh, please send us an email to talk to us at almostbearpodcast dot com. We are asking that you do not send dick pics. Masturbation videos. No masturbation videos. We do not want to see you squirting all over your phone. Just educated emails. Yeah. Educated sexual emails. I mean, please be funny, emails. though, too. If you've got a sense of humor, we want to hear from you. And, w- and we'll reach out back to you as well and ask for permission if we've got something, like, amazing that we'll read it out loud. We won't put your name or whatever. But um, please email us. Talk to us at almostbearpodcast.com. 
Yeah, and don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to us on whatever you may be listening to us on this podcast, whether it's iTunes, on Spreaker, Spotify, Last FM, Stitcher, all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah.